Mars, our cosmic neighbor, is a planet of unique charm that sparks the imagination and the desire of many people to one day call this world home. Although the idea of living on Mars sounds attractive at first glance, in reality, it is an extremely complex challenge, full of risks and astronomical costs. Imagine the grand scale of building a city like Rome, launching historical missions like Apollo 11, positioning a space station in orbit, and at the same time colonizing a vast continent. All of that happening about 55 million kilometers from Earth, on a cold rock floating in space. The journey to the Red Planet goes beyond simple exploration. It represents a crucial leap in human history, with the potential to unlock universal mysteries that still remain hidden. Think of the possibility of fleets of spacecraft continuously traveling between Earth and Mars, transforming the Red Planet into a real pulsating hub of human activity, filled with discoveries and technological innovations. I've already made videos about how difficult it will be to get to Mars and even harder to live there, but some people disagree, including billionaire Elon Musk, who plans not only to take astronauts to Mars, but also to colonize the planet. However, the question arises, how do we turn this grand dream into reality? What innovative technologies and cutting-edge strategies will be decisive in paving the way towards a permanent human presence on Mars? Martian colonization will require the greatest collaborative effort in the history of spaceflight, with partnerships among renowned institutions like NASA, SpaceX, and other visionary companies. This joint movement aims to break historical barriers and face scientific and technological challenges that have long tested the limits of humanity. In today's video, we'll explore the solutions and methods that seem most promising to make this ambition come true. A process that involves not only creating new space transport vehicles, but also implementing unprecedented logistical and survival strategies. The history of life on Earth spans over three billion years, and only recently has the human species developed the technology capable of breaking through the confines of our planet. This makes our generation unique and extremely privileged while also imposing immense responsibility upon us. For the first time in billions of years, an opportunity opens to expand our horizons. But the timing of this window of chance is uncertain. If we waste this moment, we might not get another similar opportunity. In the best case scenario, Earth will remain a habitable and stable environment for another billion years. In the worst, a catastrophic event could radically alter our survival prospects. Faced with this uncertainty, the human drive to explore the solar system and discover new worlds becomes essential not only for scientific progress, but also for the very continuity of our species. We are, by nature, explorers and survivors. And just as the history of space exploration through Apollo showed, all we need is the right vehicle to reach new frontiers. The idea of using revolutionary rockets for this mission was brought to life two decades ago by visionaries like Elon Musk, founder of SpaceX. The basic notion is that humanity already has the willingness to explore, but we were missing a technology that could take us efficiently and safely to the depths of space. With the advent of the Starship rocket, we take the first step towards sending people beyond Earth's orbit. Such a journey would not be feasible without a robust onboard infrastructure capable of sustaining a long trip. It is important to remember that transporting enormous amounts of mass into space demands colossal energy. Historically, the biggest rockets, like NASA's Saturn V in the 1960s and the more recent Space Launch System, inaugurated in 2022, were developed with the goal of taking humans beyond Earth, but their limits become evident when we think about missions to Mars. For instance, the Saturn V was ideal for sending 50 tons to the Moon, supporting a crew for a short period, while a round trip to Mars, which can last up to two years with a team of 10 people, requires moving a much greater mass. That's why the first stage of the Super Heavy, an integral part of the Starship project, already surpasses the thrust provided by the old Saturn V, demonstrating surprising progress. And that's just the beginning. In addition to the significant power increase, SpaceX's strategy involves ramping up both the frequency and volume of launches. Between 1966 and 1973, NASA operated 15 Saturn V rockets, taking 24 astronauts to the moon in just 13 successful launches. In comparison, the current vision for colonizing Mars is not based on a single mission but on an entire fleet of vehicles. It is precisely for this reason that SpaceX is committed to building a new starship every day, 
in an effort to multiply the number of launches until we reach an operation that, according to projections, may involve dozens of simultaneous interplanetary trips. Elon Musk has already presented ambitious numbers, such as the goal of having several starships operating between Earth and Mars. The idea is to transport up to 1 million tons of material to Mars, which would allow the construction of a small, self-sustaining city on a new world. However, as promising as the potential of Starship is, the technology currently available faces intrinsic physical limitations. The rocket takes full advantage of chemical propulsion technology, which has been developed and refined since the 1960s. This method uses an extremely flammable fuel combined with liquid oxygen, generating a controlled explosion at high pressure in the combustion chamber to produce the necessary thrust. Elon Musk points out that SpaceX's Raptor engine achieves an almost perfect combustion efficiency. Yet even so, the laws of physics set a ceiling on the power that can be obtained this way. For a more agile interplanetary transport, reducing, for example, the trip to Mars from eight months to just 45 days, a significant breakthrough is essential, one that will likely only be possible with the use of nuclear thermal propulsion. This is where NASA comes in with a revolutionary proposal, the use of rocket engines powered by nuclear energy. These engines, which rely on small fission reactors to generate heat, have the potential to significantly increase efficiency by converting heat into thrust through the violent expansion of liquid hydrogen. Compared to chemical methods, a nuclear thermal rocket can triple or even quintuple efficiency, enabling faster trips, greater payload capacity, and improved maneuverability. Although nuclear technology for space travel was already studied in the 1960s, a time when some prototypes were developed, current advances, like the Draco project, point to a new era in which NASA intends to launch its first nuclear spacecraft in the next five years. Naturally, the development of this technology involves strict regulations and high costs, making this area more suitable for public investments and strategic partnerships between the government and private companies. The use of nuclear energy in space isn't limited just to rocket engines. It can, for example, power orbital space stations, bases on the surface of Mars, and even replace solar energy in scenarios where that source falls short. NASA is already working on projects like Kilo Power, a small modular nuclear reactor whose test is scheduled for the moon by the end of the decade. This approach aims to ensure a continuous and reliable energy source that will allow the establishment and maintenance of human bases in Martian environments from the outset. Alongside technological advances, NASA's expertise in space logistics has proven essential. A tangible example of this preparation is the Mars Dune Alpha project, a simulated Martian habitat built with 3D printing technology. This initiative, currently being tested with a team of volunteers for a year, aims to study the conditions of isolation and the challenges of living in an environment similar to that of a future colony on Mars. The data gathered from these experiments will be fundamental for planning long-duration missions and refining life support systems, highlighting the importance of the agency's decades of research on the Red Planet. In summary, the collaboration between NASA and SpaceX exemplifies a symbiotic relationship. While NASA brings decades of knowledge in space exploration and Mars research, SpaceX offers technological innovations that enhance transport capacity and mass launch capabilities. This partnership, essential for overcoming the challenges of colonizing a world millions of kilometers away, is seen as the first step in transforming humanity into a multi-planetary species. Once established on Mars, space exploration could expand to more distant destinations such as Titan, Europa, or other promising worlds in our solar system, paving the way for a new era of discoveries. Beyond technological innovations, it is crucial to deepen the discussion about the strategies that could make the Martian environment more welcoming for human presence. Mars, which holds vast amounts of frozen carbon dioxide on its surface and polar ice caps, presents a unique opportunity. Carefully controlled warming of the planet could accelerate the sublimation of that CO2, resulting in the formation of a denser atmosphere conducive to creating an artificial greenhouse effect. This process would, in a way, work like an intentional global warming, promoting increased atmospheric pressure and the gradual rise of temperatures. In an ideal scenario, this temperature increase would not only make the atmosphere denser, but also trigger a series of critical environmental transformations, including the possibility of returning liquid water. Geological evidence suggests that billions of years ago, 
Mars might have had rivers, lakes, and even oceans, indicating that the planet once experienced flowing water on its surface. Restoring these conditions, therefore, might not only be an attempt to rekindle Martian nature, but also a fundamental step towards creating a functional ecosystem. Among the most ambitious proposals is the use of nuclear explosions as catalysts for this warming. By detonating nuclear weapons in strategically selected locations, it would be possible to simulate, on a small scale, the nuclear fusion phenomenon that naturally occurs in the sun. This approach aims to generate many artificial suns positioned at the poles, which would redistribute heat more evenly across the planet. Such measures could accelerate the conversion of frozen CO2 into gas, generating a cascade effect that would gradually transform Mars's climate. Although this idea is fraught with technical and ethical challenges, exploring it opens the door for studies in planetary engineering, allowing us to imagine scenarios where, by creating milder and more sustainable environmental conditions, we could one day transform the red planet into a potentially habitable home for human life. Therefore, the colonization of Mars goes beyond mere scientific exploration. It is a survival strategy for humanity. In a world where natural disasters or cosmic threats could compromise our existence, having a second option becomes vital. Besides serving as a plan B, the expansion to Mars could help mitigate issues like overpopulation on Earth and promote technological innovations with applications both in space and on our planet. Each advance in this endeavor has the potential to trigger revolutionary progress in areas such as transportation, food production in adverse environments, and life support systems, benefiting all of society. Ultimately, the vision of colonizing Mars goes far beyond a simple space journey. It encapsulates the intrinsic human desire to explore, innovate, and expand our horizons. By turning the red planet into a new home, we not only ensure the continuity of human life, but also open the door to a new era of discoveries and the expansion of civilization throughout the universe. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave your comments. Also, share with your friends. Every contribution is essential for us to keep unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.